Okay, so I am recording. I, I, I just talked to you and said, oh, it looks like you're in orange jumpsuits coming out of prison, but that is the national <laughs> <laughs> soccer jersey of the Zambian team. So congratulations. Hey, you just Thank you. day five. Yeah. How was it? Ronnie, give me a give me a highlight. Well, the highlight was, uh, um, again, the people that we started with, they were able to finish. So I loved the consistency, which really shows a photo commitment uh, from these people to spend all those five days coming constant. They, so to us, it was really uh, a photo commitment. So that, to me, that was uh, a great highlight. And I leave the other for David. Though I have one bunny, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> David? Yeah. Um... Yeah, one of uh, the key highlights for me was to see the team of uh, the 20 people sitting together and saying, we are not going to sit again and wait for the time to go. And we have to meet here after two months, after every two months, to discuss on the way forward and how we will be able to teach each other. So they have decided that after two months they meet, and then they discuss the material once again. They go through uh, the topics on a uh, on a quick basis. Then they are able to hear the challenges, share the challenges, and encourage each other. So that tells me that the multiplication will work out very well. Good, Ronnie. What was your burning uh, highlight? Okay, so what is the way forward? Before even we say that, uh, one of them stood actually after the bishop had talked. Is like we don't want to sit on this we don't want to sit on this i'm suggesting you guys can we meet every after three months yes we all have our timothys but can we meet we refresh each other we share testimonies we encourage each other because you know yes we want to go out to all nations because that was after i challenged them well uh, the last topic was uh, god's bottom line about god's heart for all nations and they're like, yes, we, we want to do that. But can we start at least and start mm -hmm. here? Because there are a lot of people that have uh, their eyes are you know, closed here in our counties, in our churches, in our families. Let's start doing something. So that was great to see their hearts teared. Uh, I think also, uh, again, to see the bishop standing uh, mm -hmm and telling them once again that thank you david thank you ronnie because you have been able to teach what we know but we are not able to teach it we have been afraid to, to teach, teach the truth mm -hmm. but now that you have opened for us we are going to start from here and teaching of all our churches and this is a bishop who oversees around 350 something churches so it was a great highlight this, this bishop is a director of an international school, uh, one of the few in, in Zambia. And so he's saying that he will also be able to go and teach the teachers and the staff of that international school so that they start teaching the children when they are young because it's a Christian international school. So he can have, have that in curriculum. And that was good because the Bible talks about teach the child whatever you teach them when they are little and they when they grow up they will never forget so for us it is a plus when these kids who are because it's a primary school if they are impacted from young age they will be able to change the world in future and uh, have you found out of the 15 or 16 your one or two or three key timothys Yes, and uh, we are having the meeting with them on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. We are having a meeting with them on Tuesday now to be able to know uh, how they will be leading these other 20 on discussions and meeting and making sure that uh, the growth is happening. Hopefully in 10 years, we yeah. will see a significant change in the church in Zambia. Mm. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen.